Trinidad and Tobago is set to earn approximately $200 million during the ICC Men's T20 Cricket World Cup. The figure was shared by Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, Randall Mitchell, as he gave an estimate of visitor, corporate and local spend during his contribution to the debate on the ICC Men's T20 Cricket World Cup 2024 Bill 2024 in the House of Representatives on Monday. The purpose of the bill is to make provisions for the efficient and effective staging of the tournament and for related purposes. There will be direct and indirect earning opportunities across various sectors, including transportation, tour guiding, tour operators, bar, restaurant owners, street food, street food vendors, and of course, temporary employment to meet with the increased demand for services. So in total, Madam Speaker, we estimate that this sporting event could he estimated around $200 million conservatively. Questions on the projected revenue to be made by Trinidad and Tobago during the tournament were raised by Member of Parliament for Carney Central, Arnold Ram, as he said $21.8 million was spent in 2023 to renovate the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. However, the government has yet to see how much revenue is going to be generated from this, this event, what is greater than 20. 21.8 million dollars that we are going to use because truth of the matter is that when this tournament was announced it was meant for a good deal for the united states and the sports of cricket as it serves to promote the growth and development of cricket in the united states with the caribbean receiving the smaller slice Minister in the Office of the Prime Minister, Communications, Simon de Nobriga, said this country has a track record of hosting successful events like the Men's T20 World Cup. He was contributing to a debate on the ICC Men's T20 Cricket World Cup 2024 Bill 2024 in the House of Representatives on Monday. And that is not a, a distant memory. That is last year, year before that. That is recent. We have proven. But of course, that is for who will want to see. And we know clearly that that is not the position of the members opposite. Minister Dano Briga said Trinidad and Tobago's participation in the hosting of some of the games solidifies its role as a stakeholder of cricket in the region. The government of Trinidad and Tobago under the leadership and guidance of the PNN and its Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, has taken a position that we will stand with our regional partners and be a part of a regional activity because we see ourselves as a stakeholder in, in this togetherness.